You are always welcome at East Africa's best language school, Swahili Dar Language School in Tanzania. Habari, karibu, karibu tena uh, kujifunza Kiswahili. Leo, uh, uh, karibu kujifunza Kiswahili na karibu ku, katika intermediate course. This is special for intermediate. If you are beginners, I'm sure you will understand and you will be able to catch up some few words. You will be able to understand some few words, I'm sure. Nina, 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 nina. Kama, kama wewe ni... Uh, mwanafunzi beginners ninafikiri utaweza kuelewa utaweza kuelewa a uh, few words baadhi ya maneno maneno is words so today we are going to to learn a kinyume cha maneno we are going to learn a opposite of the words opposite of the words and uh, we are only touching the verbs today all these are verbs so we are going to learn the opposite of these verbs so that you will add the number of your vocabulary and um, this is going to be very easy for you i know because uh, you know these verbs are very very simple words right so uh, be with me uh, to uh, add new vocabulary for your verbs okay let's start from number moja is answer what the meaning of answer first? Eh? What answer means? Answer is to tell me. Tell me before I say the meaning. You tell me the meaning. So answer is to start. Answer is to start. I know, you know, there is a dash before answer. And uh, that dash means to, which means ku answer. So this answer is start. And a ku answer is to start. So in every, uh, 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 before all of these verbs, there is a dash. So I hide the infinitive to, which in Swahili is ku. So ku answer is to start. Ku furahi is to, what is furai? Furai is be happy. So ku furai will be to be happy. Cheka is to, yeah. <laughs> To laugh, checker is to laugh, and uh, uh, checker is laugh. To laugh will be ku checker. So I hide that infinitive ku uh, before um, all these verbs. So be with me, um, try to understand it. I put this ku here. So let's start with answer. Answer, you said, answer is starting, to start it, ku answer. Okay, so what the opposite of Answer. The opposite of answer will be, tell me, tell me what the opposite of answer. The opposite of answer will be, uh, 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 answer and maliza. Maliza will be, uh, maliza is, what is maliza? Finish, yes. Uh, answer, maliza. So maliza is finish. Kumaliza to finish. Uh, number two, furahi. Furahi is to be happy. Furahi is to be happy. So the opposite of furahi will be what? Will be furahi will be huh? say it. I will write. You just say it. Furahi My opposite is sikitika. So what is the meaning of sikitika? I'm sure you know the meaning of sikitika. What is sikitika? Sikitika is to be sad. So furahi, be happy. Sikitika, be sad. Okay. Um, cheka. Cheka is laugh. Kucheka, to laugh. So how do you say um, the opposite of cheka? Cheka, laugh. <laughs> and the uh, opposite will be? Will be my opposite is Nuna. Nuna is to frown. So Cheka is to laugh and Nuna is to frown. Like uh, if your boyfriend or your girlfriend don't want to talk to you, then uh, you say 
my boyfriend is found the whole week. They don't want to laugh. They don't want to talk to you. They're just silent. They don't want... Have you experienced that moment? <laughs> oh, good for you. You didn't, eh? So, Cheka is laugh. Nuna is frown. To be frown, frown. Mm -hmm. Funga. Funga is... What is funga? Funga is claws. Funga is claws. So, opposite of funga will be, I think your opposite will be like mine. Funga, claws. My opposite, say it in Swahili, I'm just writing, is, is it the same with mine? Yours is the same as mine? Funga, fungua, claws, open. Open the door. Close the door. Shut the door. Funga fungua. So kufunga to close. Kufungua to open. Washa. Washa is to... Say, say, say. Washa is to turn on. So, washa is to turn on. So the opposite of washa will be, in Swahili, will be... Say it. Say it. Say it. I'm writing you say it. Washa, zima. So, washa, zima. Turn on, turn off. Zima is to turn off. So, you say, uh, turn on the light, washa ta. Turn off the TV, zima ta. Turn off the radio, zima radio. Turn off the TV, zima TV. Turn on... Don't, 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 don't turn on, turn off the water tap. That will be, that will be, we don't use for water tap. Turn on, turn off. We don't use that. We use open and close. We use fungua, turn on, like open, and funga in Swahili. So, um, fika, you know the meaning of fika. What is fika? Fika is, that's too easy, you know it, say it. Fika is arrive. So the opposite of fika will be? My opposite is ondoka. So fika, arrive. Ondoka, leave. Like in the morning, I arrive to the office, and in the evening, I leave the office. Say that sentence in Swahili. Say it in Swahili. Say, it. Say that sentence in Swahili. I am listening to you. So in the morning, I arrive to the office. Asubui ninafika ofisini. In, and in the evening, I leave the office. Na jioni ninaondoka ofisini. I hope you got it. Uliza, what is Uliza? Uliza is ask. You thought like what I just said? Uliza is to ask. Uliza, to ask. And the opposite of Uliza, say it. Say it. I'm writing. I hope you say it like what I just wrote. So, opposite will be Jibu. What the meaning of Jibu? Jibu is answer. So, to ask, to answer, to ask the question, Uliza is to ask the question. And the answer is to answer or respond or reply. Jibu is to answer, to respond, to reply. So, Uliza, Jibu. Uliza Swali, ask the question. Uliza Swali. Swali is the question. S-W-A-L-I. Uliza Swali. Jibu Swali, answer the question. Jibu Swali. Kuenda. Enda or Kuenda is go. Kuenda or Enda is go. So, what the opposite of quenda or enda? The opposite will be, you tell me, you know, go. The opposite will be, I hope your opposite will be like mine. Mine is Rudy, you go and you come back. Rudy is come back. Kuja, what is kuja? Tell me the meaning of kuja. What is kuja? Like, Nina kuja is 
Ninakuja, the meaning of ninakuja in Swahili is I am coming. Kuja is to come. Ninakuja, I am coming. Are you coming today? Unakuja leo? Are you coming today? Unakuja leo? You know these sentences. These are very easy sentences for intermediate students like yours. Huh? So, what is, what is wahi? Hmm. Wahi. The meaning of wa wahi is, you tell me, be on time. Wahi. And the opposite of wahi. Tell me, tell me, I am writing and you tell me the meaning of wahi in the opposite of why in Swahili will be Chelewa. What does Chelewa mean? Chelewa is be late. Chelewa is be late. So why is be on time? Chelewa, be late. Kuwahi, to be on time. Kuchelewa, to be late. I want to be on time. I want, Nina, you say that sentence in Swahili. I want to be on time. Nina taka kuwahi. Hmm. Nina taka kuwahi. Weka. You know weka? Weka is, tell me the meaning of weka. Weka is put. Kuweka is to put. And tell me the opposite of weka. Remember, remember, you should follow me. You should watch the whole of this video. And uh, make sure, make sure, you know, the advantage of watching the whole of these videos is you, you are going to understand, you are going to learn these verbs, you are going to learn all of these verbs, 50 verbs, and uh, they are opposite, so you are going to learn 100 verbs, and not just that, but also you will be able, you will be able to translate these sentences. And these sentences are using the verbs we are working with. So, right, n number one, you see, when are we going to start our, we know start. So we use in that uh, sentence we have to translate, we use the verb start. Like number two, furahi, you see, furahi is happy, so we have happy here. So... The advantage to learn to watch all these videos is not just you're going to learn the verbs, but also you can try to translate. You'll see your ability to translate or to do, uh, to translate those sentences or to be able to say different sentences, different Swahili sentences, you see? So make sure you watch the whole of this video. In my website, do you remember my website? Let me write my website. My website is www.swahiliclass.co.tz. This is my website. And if, if you cannot find it, WhatsApp me. WhatsApp me, and I'll send you the link to go to watch the whole of this video in my website. I'll send you the link to go and watch it in, in my website. So, to find that link, you have to WhatsApp me or to WhatsApp me in this number, plus 255 Zero seven three seven eight zero. Not only that, if you are not using WhatsApp and you are using Skype, then then you can Skype me. Write me a message in Skype using Sai dot Michael. That is my uh, Skype name. Sai dot Michael. If you are not using Skype, if you are not using WhatsApp, and you did not find that link, or you want to ask me a question, you want to write me something, use, you can use my email, 
And my email is sai at sdl.ac.tz. So that is my email address. Make sure you are able to watch the whole of this video, please. Okay, let's continue. Number 10, waker. What's the meaning of waker? Waker is put. You know that. But what's the opposite of waker? Waker will be my opposite of waker is on the way. Put, remove. Put the tea on the table, remove the dishes from the table. Waker, chai on the table. Mezani, remove dishes from the table. Ondoa, viombo, dishes, viombo, V-Y-O-M-B-O, viombo. Ondoa, viombo, mezani, remove the dishes from the table. Weka ondoa. Ingia. What's the meaning of ingia? Ingia is to enter. I remind you, ingia, if you watch those sentences, you will find a sentence with this verb ingia. <coughs> ingia is to enter, to go in, to get in. Ingia. The opposite of ingia is, tell me, tell me, I'm just writing, you tell me and you check if yours and mine are the same, are not the same. Maybe you got it right, but don't know your opposite, but my opposite is talker. Talker, ingia, get in. Talker is get out. Get out, get out of here. They say that talker is it's not good. It's not nice. Not, not polite. Don't say this to people. Don't say, talk out. Get out of here. Get out of here. In English, they say what? Get out of here. Get out of here. Talk out. It's not nice. You don't say that to people. You can say it to animals sometimes if you agree with um, me. I sometimes I say this to animals. Maybe I'm not nice. Talk In here. <laughs> Is to enter. Talker is to get out. What is the meaning of hammer? 